Woods. Day 11. Let's go. for today, here's the top end. and then, I don't know, find a cabin somewhere, chill, uh, enjoy the last full day on the road, because tomorrow it's home. Damn, that was quick. 12 days passes quite fast. Actually, I think I just need to find uh, somewhere to stop and have a coffee and yeah, shake some life into his body. Okay. Yeah, let's find coffee. I think I paid for this one. A cup of coffee. Just take a couple seconds and guess. Answer is 73 kroners, <laughs> which is about 7 euros. It's fucking insane. Decent uh, campground for the night. 
I tried two other ones, but they were so full. I just, I didn't want to, no, not for me, but this one is pretty nice and with the perfect lake here. So first I'm going to have something to eat and drink and then uh, put some tents, you know, first thing first. Good morning guys just leaving the last camping of this trip and what a great way and what a great place to finish this trip last night I was invited for uh, some barbecue and beers by my camping neighbors in a camping wagon and uh, we also spent the morning together having breakfast super nice people it's always so great to meet people on this uh, on these trips, even if it's motorcycle people or other normal <laughs> people. <laughs> it's just great anyway. All right, so we're heading home. Um, we're leaving the sun, it seems like, in a minute now. As you can see in front of us, there's a lot of big and darker clouds. It's supposed to be a lot of rain coming down on most of the strip actually so we'll just have to see how long the sun stays with us for this last day seems like we're gonna end this trip just like it started pretty wet and chilly but it doesn't matter it just means that today is gonna be mostly about just transportation I got about 30 kilometers no sorry 300 kilometers to um, come home so I'm probably gonna spend most of the day Today. It's already 10 o'clock in the morning. Let's see what happens. Let's see what today brings. Usually this is a really beautiful ride uh, through the mountains going over towards the coast westwards. But when it's raining it's mostly just ugh, chilly because there's a quite a bit of altitude so it's usually pretty cold up there. So yeah, we'll see. I'm glad I got my Klim Artemis gear to keep me dry at least and then I got my heated gear to keep me warm so I don't have anything to complain about all right let's go home then I just close over there before hitting the rain Can I miss anything? 